yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock City boy. Dude. Oh, hey guys, J Man Seductions on the J Zone here with a new video about the Wii U because I feel like I haven't talked about it. That was a fairy tale opening. Bleach fans, don't get angry. Oh my god, I said I said stuff bad about Bleach. You're gonna dislike my videos. I mean. Some of you guys took that way too seriously, that was all opinionated. A lot of you guys got really angry with that. I did bring up examples, that's probably why you did get annoyed, because you realised a lot of what I said about the Bleach is truth, but... Anyway, um, yeah, I'm, I'm here to do a video talking about the Wii U and how Nintendo shouldn't make the same mistakes that they did with the Wii and the 3DS if they want this console to be a success at the very start because obviously I know the Nintendo are going to sell well overall but if they want it to sell well like fast and pick up very fast like um, the Wii did they're going to have to do a few things because 3DS at the moment um, is not living up to Nintendo's standards in terms of sales even though I think 4 million I think it sold 4 million that, I still think that's really really good but Nintendo obviously have really really high standards so there are a few things that they need to do. One of them being, they have to have two to three must have titles from the very start of that console's launch. I think that's very, very important. Your console or your, your portable console or just home console can be the most technical, be the most just um, powerful console, have all of the things that everyone wants. But if there are no games to sell with it, you're not gonna sell or not initially. Like, look at the PS3. That's my console preference this generation. But I have to say, I'm not a fanboy or anything. I admit, the first two years, probably about PS3, not too many great games out there. And then it started to get better and better. Now we're in this year of 2011 where the PS3 just had loads of games, and that's not the best thing. You should try and space out the releases and make sure you have at least two to three must have games from the very start of the console so whether that means you having um, um, a Mario game or a new version of Wii Sports because that Wii Sports no matter what anyone says that's a must have for many people or just have two to three must have titles from the start I love this FMA song okay wait wait um, next one the price point Make sure in every single region the price point is in the 300s. So that means in the 300s for dollars, in the 300s for euros, in the 300s for pounds. Uh, I don't know, wherever you're, maybe you live in Australia, Australian dollars. Like just make sure it's in the 300s for every region that's a great price point to start your console at you don't want to make it too steep like the ps3 first was or you i can't remember what the initial price for the, um the xbox was but i i don't remember it being that good so just don't 300 and you'll be you'll be great just make sure it's 300 in every single region i think that'll be a really great price point because especially in this economical climate you don't want your console to be too expensive because people will just be too scared to upgrade especially when a lot of people like the consoles they have now and think they're perfectly fine like me I just won't feel the need to upgrade immediately if the price is too much um, another thing I want to talk about is if you have these killer features that you're all promising and you you want to put in the system make sure that all of these killer features that you're talking about now are uh, there at launch or they're just a little bit after the launch because with the 3DS especially you promised all of these things like the eShop and the eShop it took like maybe at least three months for it in the, the um, 3DS's life cycle for that to pop up and actually work all of these things that are promised and they weren't there at the launch people will get annoyed you need to make sure a lot of things are there at the launch make sure all of the features you promise are there from the start or people will get annoyed um, another thing I would think um, Nintendo should do is limit the amount of shovelware on the console. Now, the Wii had a big problem with shovelware, so did the DS. Um, I mean, it's not the biggest thing to complain about. Obviously, third party developers are going to want to jump on a system that's selling well. 
but it can get really, really not annoying. Like when you're searching for really good games, you see all these crappy games. Like Wii Sports Fun or Wii. No, 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 not even Wii Sports. They're just like these crappy third-party, like stupid carnival games that nobody really cares about. Um, actually some little kids care about that like, but the thing is you're meant to please the gamers as well as the casual audience i understand the casual audience is really important um, more important from a business standpoint but also the hardcore gamers are the ones that are not just going to be buying your system they're going to be going all of the games i know um one of the um pe head honchos at nintendo said we want to make sure that people are actually buying a load of games instead of buying two or three games because a lot of the casuals just bought two or three games which will be wii sport um, Wii Sports Plus was it and um, Wii Fit and maybe maybe Mario Kart so make, you, you have to make sure that they that you limit the shovelware that the third party devs can put on there um, next thing I want to say better online system in general that was a big mistake with the Wii and the DS no friend codes nobody cares for friend codes and just, I mean, the online system, just make it more user-friendly because online is becoming this massive thing for everyone. If you make the online more user-friendly, more simple, more convenient, people will be happy. Um, I'm not expecting it to be, oh my god, better than Xbox Live, but I'm just saying, like, at least no friend codes <laughs> and I'll be happy. At least no friend codes. I don't think anybody likes friend codes. Um, another thing I would say, make sure you don't rely on the third party titles too much because remember they're going to be on the PS3 and the Xbox anyway and some of the third party games that you showed off at the um, E3 because I remember they had that big trailer I'm sure that some of those games are coming out before the Wii U's release so it would be really stupid to rely on those first party games as launch titles instead of bringing out really like good first party games for the launch titles this is just in terms of the launch titles like in the initial initial month of the system make sure don't rely too much on third party that's just my opinion um, and last thing I want to talk about that I want to wrap this up with make sure that there's a big hard drive capacity in this I don't know whether Nintendo are gonna like feature any media options with this because I know Nintendo are very much about gaming and they don't want to make other things like overshadow the gaming in their console I know they took out the DVD and Blu-ray, they didn't want a DVD and Blu-ray feature in it so that's why it was totally scrapped but make sure there's a big hard drive because what if we're downloading, uh, apparently you can download GameCube games on the Wii U, I mean that's going to take up a lot of space, we're going to need a big hard drive capacity to take up all of that stuff and really, I mean that is all I really need to say, I just think they need to start off really well by having all those features that they promised good first party titles, um, nice price point around about 300, don't rely on um, third parties and for launch titles, limit the shovelware, bigger hard drive and I think the console will sell really well in the first year and it, I don't think it will be as much as disappointment as the 3DS was because I think Nintendo made a few mistakes with them, um, the 3DS, mainly make sure I mean the titles in the 3DS, I mean there isn't a must have title in the 3DS unless you're a Zelda, unless you're a Zelda fan but if you're a Zelda fan anyway you've already played that game before so there's not really a must have title because even Street Fighter you played that on the consoles before you could say Dead or Alive but that one's a bit iffy I'm not saying it's a bad game it's not a must have must have games are coming out a bit later like Kid Icarus um, Luigi's Mansion, the Mario Kart game, but initially there wasn't them, and, and with the 3DS as well, the eShop it took forever, so just don't make those same mistakes, and I reckon the Wii U will be a total and big success, and we'll all be happy until um, the other consoles come out, but hopefully I don't want Sony to rush their new console, so I want them to wait a while, because I'm, I'm really, I am enjoying the PS3 still, and I want to have it for, I, like, I don't want to upgrade for a new Sony console for a couple of years yeah I'm, I'm happy with the PS3 like but I'll, I'll buy the Wii U I don't know about the first year of launch but probably the second year I'll, I want to wait for some I want to wait for a good array of titles to be in the console because Nintendo might mess it up but anyway 
This has been J Mouse with Auctions on the J Zone. Um, I'm listening to one of my favourite songs right now. Um, for my album, it's opening five. I love this song. But anyway, um, catch you guys on the next video. I'm I'm thinking about making a video on something that's been uh, something that's been on my mind a lot. It's the it's that whole movement of together to the top. I really want to give my opinions on that because there's some things that people are missing out about. It. If you want me to make that video, just say down below in the comments below. But anyway, um, J Mouse Productions on the J Zone. Living a good luck and God bless. And this actually showing in the jumper. Wee! <laughs>